In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a item dragging system, kind of like dead rails. So you'll be able to pick up, throw stuff, and uh, yeah. Okay, so this is going to be a really simple tutorial. So I'm not going to include all this UI and stuff, but you will have a full dragging system by the end of it. So I do have a, a model in the description, which you can use. I just go ahead and go get that. Put that into your game, and here it is. So it comes with two... I guess example models for it we have two apples welded together and then uh, a test item so first thing we're gonna go ahead and set all this stuff up so everything in the replicate storage you want to put that into the replicated storage like that server script service put all these scripts into the server script service and server player scripts into the starter player scripts so now if you hit play right now it should start spawning items for you to pick up this also only works in first person so you can um pick stuff up throw them it highlights it and it should work pretty well yeah all right so let's say you want to add a new object into this so that's pretty simple so a objects folder in the replicate storage we could just um duplicate test item or something let's say you want to make like let's say you want to make like a cross or something so we can bring this into the workspace so we can change it in here so one thing there's a few things to keep in mind so inside of your model you need to have uh, something inside of it named pickup or else it won't detect that it's an object that you can pick up and then also you want to make sure that every mesh part and part is directly parented to the model you want to have a cross or something like this so you want to have something like this right so right now this will just fall apart and it won't work so all you need to do is you need to make sure to weld everything together so you'll weld those together and then also make sure that they're not anchored at all or else it won't work all right so now uh just as is it should actually just work so if we hit play it should be able to be picked up as you can see it'll pick it up and then also it will face away from the character yeah but that's how you can add new objects really easy and simple Okay, we can go through a little bit of how this actually works. Also, you can delete this uh, folder that it came with. So the collisions, if you pick up an object, um, normally you'd be able to like put it under your feet and then jump on top of it. But if you pick, a, pick up an object, it actually won't collide with your player character anymore. So you can just walk straight through it and you can't, you know, do any flying stuff with it. Item setup. So this is how you can actually spawn in items. So you can probably actually delete this script if you uh, don't want item items spawning all the time set that enabled to false if you don't want it basically all it is is just cloning an item and setting it to the workspace okay the last thing that you actually probably will need to change is interactable handler on the client all of these right here are settings that you can change if you wanted to the range is how close an item needs to be before they can pick it up uh, carry distance is how far away they actually carry the item in front of them maximum carry distance we have this so that if they put the item behind a wall or something and then start walking away, uh, it'll drop it whenever they get too far away. Uh, carry smooth. This is the snappiness of like the movement. So if we lower this a lot to like 0.01, so you'll see that it lags behind it a lot and takes a long time to reach the you know place that you're looking at. But if you increase it a lot, that it's very snappy to where you are looking. So it just depends on how you want it to feel and stuff like that. All right, the next one is throw boost. So every time you drop an item, a velocity will be added onto that item so that it can actually appear that it is being thrown. So if you increase this to like 20, so if you just go like that, as you can see, it throws it pretty far. And then if you lower that, it'll throw not as far. So that's really simple as well. And I think that's about it for the script. This is where we check for the pickup under the model so that we know that we can actually pick it up. So that's, if you need to change that, it's right there. So that's everything you need to know about the scripts to use them. But if you guys want to see the other system I have, because I have it to where you can pick up stuff and has this UI. This also works on mobile, I forgot to mention, but the picking up does actually work on mobile. And then I also have a, oh, it's not on this one, but I do have a welding system that should work as well. So yeah, that's it for this video. Make sure you guys like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next video.